Now, we also looked at blade planform shaping. Uh, and the reason why is because in the case of coaxial rotors, um, they, they, they generate this impulsive noise as the blades pass over each other. That's known as blade crossover events. So in the case of straight blades, you get this instantaneous blade overlap, which results in pretty strong acoustic effects. Now, if we were to introduce some sort of double swept design, then that'll basically distribute that blade overlap over a longer period of time. Uh, and it'll essentially dephase these aerodynamic interactions, make the sound a lot softer, much more pleasant. And so that's what we did. So here you can see in this photograph of our full scale rotor blade, we swept it forward by about five degrees up to the 62% radial location and then swept, swept it backwards uh, 20 degrees from that point onwards. And the benefits from this is demonstrated in our acoustic simulation. We, uh, we saw about a 4.4 dBA noise reduction uh, as a result of introducing this. And so what I wanna do is I want to share with you uh, some clips uh, demonstrating the straight versus the double swept design. Um, so here I'm going to play this clip for the straight bladed design. Then here's the double swept design. And so here you can, uh, hopefully you will hear that and uh, you can tell that the double swept design is certainly quieter and softer than the straight blade design. So our optimal uh, rotor design, here's the parameters. And as I said, we did uh, about 270,000 uh, cases <laughs> in this uh, parameter optimization effort. Um, so uh, as I mentioned, we use uh, Helios for simulating the CFD, uh, for CFD simulations. And let me see if I can play this short uh, movie for you, uh, which basically just shows the, the flow field of the coaxial rotor system. Yeah, and uh, hopefully you can see that, uh, that uh, CFD flow field result there. And so we used, uh, so we used CFD um, to verify our BEMT predictions for the hovering flight case um, here you can see in this plot of uh, power for a series of collective angles and then thrust for a series of collective angles as well. Um, and uh, you can see that we get pretty good agreement between the two within about 15% of each other. So we were pretty happy with that result. We also did uh, a similar verification for, uh, for, for the forward flight case. And so here's uh, a short video showing the flow field structures in the forward flight case. And here you can see some of the vortices shed from the uh, coaxial rotor system as well as the, the body itself. And so then we use those results um, to verify our BMT for the forward flight case. And that's demonstrated here in power versus forward speed for the BMT results and then the uh, discrete points for the, with the CFD. And uh, we even got better agreement here within about 10% of each other. Um, so we were pretty happy with that. 